calibrating the elevation axis. After watching the homing video and the how to calibrate each axis video for the blade wood processing system, determine if the elevation axis needs to be calibrated. It probably needs calibration if the center lines on webs are off, heel heights vary, or a trailing plumb cut is inaccurate or incomplete. Gather the supplies listed here. If you haven't already inspected the elevation assembly, lock out tag out the saw and inspect the elevation motor assembly and general area for debris or binding. Inspect the home sensor for loose or damaged parts and cables. If no mechanical issues are found that would affect saw accuracy, remove the lockout tagout devices and power up the saw and touchscreen. To calibrate the axis, ensure the status banner on the blade home screen shows ready. You may need to press the home system button on the toolbar if the system is not in the ready state. The saw must be in manual mode for the home system button to work. With the saw in manual mode, select Calibrate from the Tools ribbon. The calibration screen appears. Select Elevation and press Start on the calibration screen. If a selection window appears, select Home Position. Place the saw in Auto mode and start the saw blade motor. Always use the Cut Straight Board feature to prepare the board for elevation calibration. This feature is discussed in the How to Calibrate Each Axis video and can be found on the calibration screen. Use a 2x4 as instructed in the supplies list. Once you have created a straight board, clear the saw of lumber and place the board indicated onto the end feed rail. When it's done, the board ejects automatically. During the elevation calibration, the saw will make a series of plunge cuts into the bottom of the board. During this calibration, we are going to count the amount of times that the saw actually goes into the board. This will make a complete semicircle in the bottom of the board, ranging from one end to the other. In this case, we can see that there are six full complete semicircles by tracing them with an ink pen. Once we count these cuts, we will enter them on the touch screen where it's labeled 0 through 10. If the reading is 0 or 10, we will enter 0 or 10 on the touch screen and rerun the calibration. You may want to compare the original and new numbers on the final value screen just to be aware if you're having the same problem over and over again. If so, determine the mechanical cause and fix it.